Hello everybody, Trevor Master here and welcome to the Challenge Grand Prix at K1 Speed. This is in the Orlando location and this is the third month of the entire year in 2020. And this is the third round as a result since it's in March. But yeah, we're going to get right down to the business. If you uh, want to see um, previous previous Challenge Grand Prix or see the playlist of the real life karting series, I will have an eye in the sky over to me to the top right to, so you can go ahead and check out that playlist i'll also have it in the description below redefined as well but yeah going right on to the qualifying i actually did there's actually two qualifyings for sessions that you have a chance to crack into for your qualifying sessions and the best time that you get is the one that they accept so the first session i got a 25 397 in a normal in the normal k1 speed like qualifying sessions for the orlando area anyway that would normally be a pull time it, that normally is like very fast you're not no no one normally would top that in a normal scenario but tonight the carts were very fast something something the, the mechanics did this past month made the carts really quick and really enjoyable to drive and it, it was just it was just a fun night for general racing in general for the, for the league nights just because the cars were so so much fun to ring out even if you had a, sl a slower cart this session like i had i will i'll kind of say it now i had a slower cart for my um final but i was getting but i was getting um 25 sixes 25 five which that's that's still I mean, like a good time for for the challenge grand prix which is pretty nuts to think about that, that we the pace of the cars was ramped up over the course of a month and long story short i actually for the qualifying session i actually ended up having a really good cart and as you can see there i'm already cracking down another 24 fours i'm um, 25 fours and it's uh going out pretty well but anyways the, the the session here was obviously the quicker one because um this is why i'm showing it because i i show the quicker qualifying session for for the entire thing so that way um i, I don't let the video run too long but yeah it's a it was a really good session and for me this this the uh, part of the challenge grand prix um, series was um every quarter of the month of, of the year a person wins a gopro so like if you're the leader in march you get a gopro and if um you're the leader in i think it would be june you would get a gopro and then it would be it would be in September and then it would be in December. Like, if you're the leader of those sessions, you get a GoPro. But if you already want a GoPro, it goes to the person behind you and etc. etc. So, right now for me, since it's the first GoPro that's going to be available, I'm I'm actually just trying to play it safe just to make sure I don't make any mistakes in the race. So, my main objective is just, just be first in the overall championship for this month. I don't need to go for heroics and try to go for a win if i get on a podium that's that's good enough you don't i didn't need to do anything thing risky for the entire thing so i was just gonna go ahead and try to qualify as fast as i can and right now you're actually i believe you're seeing the fastest lap that i did it was a really good lap like just just overall it's the part felt hooked up really well and uh it actually turned in a really good lap here it was a uh, 25 oh and this isn't the lap I completely made a fool of myself but but um it's this it's the next lap that i did i got a 25 one it was really good and it and i felt really good about that lap time because it was just it was just a good lap the, the hairpin was clicked up really well everything was just on the dot like nothing like i didn't put a foot wrong on the lap you'll see it right when i cross the line it was an amazing lap and i couldn't top it for the rest of the time it was just it was a really good lap and and Antonio came really close to it. He he's gonna be starting in second. He was only like twenty five thousandths away from it. Like that was just that just goes to show you the margin of error. If I made a slight mistake in that hairpin back there on that lap, I would have pr probably have gotten second for the starting positions, which would not be an ideal sp sp um, place to start for most of these races. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and let the rest of the let the qualifying session do, do much of the talking because. I'll just go ahead and let you guys enjoy the the raw footage of this of this uh, qualifying session, and I'll be right back.
Holy crap! All right, so after qualifying on pole for that race, I'm actually now focusing on my strategy for the race. The race here, my main focus is not for this month. I wasn't worried too much about winning the race in this one. I was just worried about collecting the points that were needed to just to win the GoPro for this month. As you know, I went I went back to try to fight a little bit with first, just the, just the hope of my car is a little faster. But I noticed that I didn't have the pace to keep up with Antonio there. He was in a much faster car. I was actually the car that I turned it in the first session where I turned in a 25-3. So I'm like, I best to just let him go. Just let him run his race. And uh, I'll just go from there. You can just, I'll take the positions. I'll just sit back and consolidate second or if I can. But um, I feel um, Nick as well is, uh, is on me. And then he's going to battle me as well. And when I was looking back to see that, I noticed Dupree was actually battling my, my brother actually behind me. So I was noticing that Dupree was going to be in a battle. He was going to lose a lot of time. So I may as well just go ahead and let Nick go. And then I could just follow him for a while and pull away from Dupree. And then maybe if I have the pace to keep up with Nick, I'll, I might have a chance to have a go at him later. So, so yeah, this, um, this session, for this month of uh, Challenge Grand Prix, it's, it's a little weird because like you you do yes you want as a driver it's where you always want to fight for the best position that you can but it's like for, when you're fighting for um prizes like at this point it, it's better to just play everything safe especially in the beginning of the race because if you make a mistake defending like if you get pushed out wide or if you um spin out in the hairpins you're gonna lose all those positions then it's gonna be a nightmare so you're better off just trying to just play it safe with the people that are faster behind you um get ahead and maybe if you're if you end up having a faster cart near the end of the race which actually does happen and it actually happens in this race with me against nick uh to let the raw footage actually show that battle but it happens it happens like um a cart that tends to some cars tend to die off in the second half of the race some cars are really good the retires rubber in better in the second half and some are just better in the, in the first half so it's just it's just picking your right moments to fight, and for me, the start of the race was not one of those places, so I just played it very safe. So, all right, I'm just gonna go ahead and let the rest of the raw footage, the rest of the talking for this race, because um, it was a very, it's a very good race. It was just, it was a little bit lonely at first. I was, it was honestly just me just sticking to a delta just to make sure I didn't let um, Nick get too far ahead and to make sure um, David didn't get too close to me, basically for this race. So yeah, I'll go ahead and let it do that. And I'll uh, be right back.
at this point of the race, I actually um, noticed that Dupree was actually got spun out at this point of the race. So he is, uh, he's actually um, slowed down quite a bit. So but he, I was also noticing that I was catching Nick as well for this um, for this portion of the race because I, I think his car started to die out near the second half of the race right here. So I was thinking it's a good opportunity for me to just try to catch up. And I actually needed to pull a very a clever move to actually try to get this position. Like, as we see here, going into this hairpin here, he, I don't think he sees me. So what I try to do is uh, make myself not be viewable from the inside and then just duck in there last minute. And it worked. <laughs> you know, that's just the, the way you make moves in these cars on this kind of track. You just got to... You got to be a bit more bold and in contact is kind of a bit more acceptable especially in, when it's kind of like side on like that it's fair enough and he gave me plenty of room we both got we both felt like it was good good moves on on each other's parts and it was fair enough and right now i'm just about consolidating the position now like i see i'm gonna hold the inside here and break very very early so that way he, ha he would either help me and make me move way faster through the corner or he would just go around try to go around the outside of me and he'll just get be in a very compromised position but um, in now, I interesting enough, the um, I threw out a yellow flag for um, um, D D um David there, Dupree there because um, I think he got spin out, spun out and then um, he it didn't react to what well. he wasn't too happy about it, so he just pulled his card off and uh, called it a day there. So basically, my job was done for in terms of getting the GoPro because the only other person that probably could have challenged me was Chris and he wasn't here today. So for me, it was just about going for the positions I want and then you just full send and uh, I basically capitalized very well because now I, I got second place and since I actually qualified on pole for this race I get a bonus point so I actually get the same amount of points as I, I were to win the race and not get pole so it was a win-win for me to get up into second so I didn't really lose any positions to, uh, in terms of in terms of actual positioning on the championship order and I didn't lose any I didn't lose any ground and I, they didn't gain any ground on me either. In fact, I actually did gain ground in terms of where uh, where I ended up oh, for the championship oh. and it was quite good. good yeah, me and Nick there, we were congratulating yeah, each other. We good. felt good. good. It was a good race. And uh, good I'll go ahead and go over to the standings now where I am now um, eight points ahead of Chris, which he since he wasn't here today, so he only got zero points. I, now I am also ahead by nine points to Steven Davis, and I'll be ten points ahead of David Dupree since he he takes the DNF. He gets one point, and then now what, tied with him as well is um Nick, who was just behind me in that race, and now he's tied with Dupree in that one. So it kind of it kind of closes up the gap from in the top five. So now like Nick's now in the conversation of within the, then the title. Like it's a very long championship. We still got nine more rounds to go, and it's 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 a long way to go, but. Everything's looking very solid for me, and since I actually now at the top of the standings for this month, I get a GoPro. So I am very happy about that. For the top five, we're all very close. We're all within 10 points, and Keith Morgan's not too far behind either, even though, even though he didn't show up last month either, or this month. He actually is only behind by 12, and so is Antonio. He missed the first round, and he's only behind by, by 14 points. So, yeah, the top the top seven is really close, and then you kind of you kind of have like a... Formula A, Formula B kind of scenario with my brother actually um, making the second the second half where he's down he's down by five points from the gap between Antonio and uh, himself. So it's basically there's like definitely a best of a rest kind of field for the second half where um, I think my brother's in the lead of that right now. But um, there's actually some things not fully updated within the second half of the standings. But we know like the top seven is mo very like updated. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy that. Feel free to leave a like. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you want to see all the latest uh, in my videos and uh, see all the playlists I have and everything on my channel. And feel free to hit that notification bell for when I post another video or if I were to go live streaming, which I will be live streaming on Saturday for the MCEC round five after we've had our break week this past week. So it's been feeling pretty good. And anyways, I'll see you guys next time.